Are you sure caffeine's the best thing? Well, I need something to do while we wait for your cousin. Here, how about this? <sighs> Look, Jamal, I, I know that I said I was really okay with all this stuff earlier, but now I'm scared. You know, we know that Zach was the one that killed Jack. Okay, but we also know that he is going to be the one who wants to pin it on you. I know, that's why we're here, you know? Just to bust this thing wide open, to give the suits and badges the real story. Together. Yeah, but what if they get it wrong? What if they blame you, just like you said? Well, we, we kind of knew that, you know, coming in the door. But, you know, it's worth taking that chance, because we owe it to Jack to do whatever we can to nail Zach on this thing. No matter what happens to you, or to us? Yeah, no matter what. Remember? <laughs> Together, whatever comes. Yeah, whatever comes. Okay, kids. You got something to say? Here I am. Yeah, we're, uh, we're here to see Dara. Yeah, she's tied up in night court, so she asked me to come down and see what you wanted. So what's the story, Jamal? What kind of trouble you get yourself into now? Dr. Forrest to orthopedics. Dr. Dave Forrest to orthopedics. Heads up! Ooh. NBA stardom's gonna have to wait. It's doctor time. What do we got? Someone who can appreciate your bedside manner, DOA, male, early 20s. They found them at the bottom of the ravine, north end of the park. Coroner said to bring him here, have him declared. Mm, very pretty, huh? Yeah, broken neck, plus plenty of other souvenirs he picked up on him way down at the bottom. Has he got a name? Zach Vernon. Another celebrity. Let's park him in trauma, call the uh, morgue, tell the boys that dinner's ready. Oh, you're sick, Ramsey. <laughs> no courtside seats for you. Dr. Seagrove to oh. neurology. Dr. Jason Seagrove Alex. to Dr. neurology. Alex, Dr. Collins, your uh, dad and his friend are in three. Thanks. Victor, are you okay? Uh, I'm, I'm fine. Abe's the one in trouble. <clears throat> How's he feeling? He's saying that he's cold. Nico! <clears throat> Judge Curland? <laughs> Get away from me. You touch me and I'll kill you! Hey, no, Victor, Victor, give us a second, please. I'll, I'll, I'll be right outside. Has he been like this since he came in? <laughs> then calm him down. Victor, what's happening, Mark? We don't know yet, but we will. Victor, how did this happen? And more importantly, does Abe have any pre-existing conditions that you know about? I wouldn't know. I can tell you this. There's something unholy up there in those woods. Get out of my face, you whining moron! Hey, it's Victor! I, I Victor, mean, Victor, please! I know you want to help, but not now. I understand. Get out! Out! Get out! I want out! I 
Abe, 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 listen to me. Listen to me. Abe, what happened to you out in the woods? Abe, do you remember why you were brought in here? I don't want to talk. I want out. I want in. Abe, 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 listen to me. What is making you so angry? Just am, all right? I don't know why. I don't know. I just want to rip somebody's heart out. It's Dr. Russo to labor and delivery. Dr. Robert Russo to labor and delivery. Hey, Frank. Yeah. The place where you found that guy must have been pretty gruesome, huh? A lot of blood? Not that much. Not that much, right? No, not that much blood. Why? Because he doesn't have any. He bled to death. Well, that's weird. Yeah, it really is. So what are you thinking? Well, the guy bleeds to death, and there's no blood at the scene. And he didn't die in that ravine. Somebody dumped him there. After he died? After he's murdered. Better call this one in. dragged in. I think we'll just wait for Dara. Thanks. Yeah. Look, kids, you know I'm not a bad guy, right? And whatever you tell the assistant DA is just gonna get passed on to me anyway. So come on, spit out the bad news. All right, um, all right, here's the story. Jack Detective. Ramsey. Yeah? Got news on that guy that was found dead. Looks like there was some kind of foul play involved. You get a name on him yet? Yeah. Zach Vernon. All right, thanks. I'm on my way. All right, you two. One with your story. I'll be back. Oh, my God. I thought he was going to say that he found Jack's body. Now Zach Vernon's dead, too? <sighs> <sighs> Who could have been... Oh, my God. What? Livy. You know how weird she's been acting lately, and she said that she was going to get... Zach back for what he did to Jack. She never left her alone. You don't think that she could have you know, done I, that? I don't know what to think. I just know we better find Livy and fast. Come on. Listen, whoever you are. I already told you who I am. You're not my future or anything else to me. I don't even know you. I know you. Well enough for both of us. I don't understand. Something inside you does. You already know I would never hurt you, don't you? You know that. Who are you? I'm Caleb. And you are Olivia. How did you know? Olivia the most beautiful name I know. You've been watching me. I can't take my eyes off. After the other night, when, when I saw you here... You felt my presence. Yes. As I have yours. you again. My heart beats to your rhythm. Can you feel? 
think you've lost something. Someone precious. Yes. You have? What you need now is someone to take care of you. To protect you. Yes, I am. And you know that. That's why you believe me right now. I just, I don't understand. You don't need to understand. I can't. Olivia? Stay. I can't stay here. Wait. You don't really want to go. exactly happened out there? I need to know everything you know. We were in the woods north of town. Abe was fine. We were getting ready to hit the lake. Go Abe on. Abe discovered that he'd left some of his fishing gear in the car, so he went back to get it. But he didn't come back. So I waited, and I waited, and I waited, and finally I went looking for him. Where did you find him? I found him stumbling through the brush, mumbling something about being cold. And, and uh, one minute he'd be leaning against my shoulder, and the next minute he'd be attacking me. Somehow I managed to get him calm enough to get him back here. Victor, you said you thought there was something unholy in those woods. What did you mean? Monk, you know me. You know I've seen a lot of things. You know I've been a lot of places. I don't scare easily. But... You saw something. There was a fog all of a sudden, a very thick mist, and, and I don't know what it was. It was something... Some kind of animal disappearing into the woods, or something like an animal. You think whatever it was attacked Abe? I don't know what else to think. But what kind of an animal attacks a man, and, and instantly he goes mad? What are you thinking? Jack Ramsey had a strange experience out in those woods. He disappeared, passed out, and then turned up feeling sick. Well, let's talk to him. We can't. He's gone. What are you doing here, Sam? Who is this guy? How do you know him? He's, uh... He was a, a friend. I heard they brought him in, and I came to see him. What happened? Well, someone killed him. That's what happened. Did a good job of it, too. But you still haven't answered my questions. How do you know him? I don't have to answer. No, listen, the other day... After you were here poking around, asking questions about my brother, I did some checking. Turns out the last time anyone saw Jack, he was in a motorcycle race. Now you happen to be a biker yourself, and now you come back to the hospital to visit your very dead friend. Let go! Not until you tell me what this dead guy has to do with my brother, Jack. I, I, I really shouldn't be talking to a stranger. Do I really feel like a stranger to you? Please, don't look at me that way. What do you want from me? Why are you here? To save you. To make you feel complete again. I can do that, Olivia. Make that emptiness you feel inside. Make it disappear forever. Happiness always seems to have eluded you. Just out of reach. I've tried so hard. I know you have. Do you want to try anymore? All you have to do now is surrender. Hey, this is important. Anything you can remember, Tron. I don't. That's, that's just it. I was, I was going back to the boat, and next thing I knew, I heard Victor calling, saying I've been missing for hours. And. And? I have a sense of. I'm feeling so strange. 
Like, uh... Like what? I don't know. Like, uh, I've been poisoned or something. I mean, what's going on? Why, why, why do I feel this way? You don't know yet, Abe, but we'll know more once we draw some blood and run some tests. Hmm. Jill? No blood. No blood. Hey, no, Abe, stay Abe, away. No, leave, me, no, leave me alone. Hey, no, hey, no, hey, no, it's hey, fine. Hey, no, no blood. Is it? No, I thought Fix you knew all first. first. I thought you, no. you gave him. We no, did him. nobody takes my blood. Nobody takes my blood. down his arm. No, Jill, what's happening? What's happening to him? I wish I knew. Monk! Monk! I'll kill you. I'll kill you, you. It's your last chance, Sam. I know something's up with my brother. I don't know anything. You're lying. Prove it. I am through playing 20 questions. Now, how is that stiff connected to my brother? He's not a stiff. His name's Zach, and he was like family to me. He was there when I didn't have anybody. I don't care. You're all heart. In about two seconds, you're going to find out just how heartless I am. Fine. Get me security. Okay, okay. I'll tell you. I know who did Zach. Who? Oh, you know who. Jamal Woods and Allison, what's her name? Barrington? Give me a break, Sam. They may be pains in the butt, but they're not killers. Zach saw what they did. I mean, what they did. They killed your brother. Jack's dead. Jamal and Allison murdered him. Libby! Are you down here? Allison. Hello, it's here. us. Hey, I'm here. What happened to you? Why do you look so pale? No, I'm fine. Who are you looking for, Libby? Uh, no one. No one at all. Libby, what's going on? He was just here. That guy. What guy? There was a man here? Yeah, yeah, the one, the one I saw before. We were just talking. Well, what, what did he say? What did you guys talk about? His, um, uh, his name is Caleb. Livy, are you okay? You look kind of out of it. Yeah, have you been drinking? No. No, I'm fine. Everything is fine. I just, uh, I, I feel a little strange. I've, um, I've got to find him. Well, Livy, Livy, hold on. Livy, Livy, wait. He couldn't have gotten far. Wait. What? Livy, your shirt. What happened? Oh, um... Zach, he, uh, he did it. it. Zach? Yeah. I got away. Livy, Zach is dead. Zach? Huh. Good. He got what he, he deserved. At least I hope so. You mean you really didn't know? Look at the cops. Tops think that Zach was murdered. Oh, yeah, by who? Well, we were hoping that you could tell us that. Why would I know? Why? You think I did it? Well, we wouldn't blame you if you did. Hey, we all wanted him dead, Libby. And I wanted to do it. I looked till I found him. I even brought a knife. Oh, God. But, but I couldn't... I, I couldn't go on with it. And, and Zach knew it. He saw me weakening. And then he grabbed me, and he tried. Livy, did he hurt you? No. Uh, I got away. How? Oh. Um, there was this noise, and, and Zach turned, and I got my shot in, and then I, I got away. I ran here, but he was very much alive when I saw him. You guys have to believe me. No, of course we believe you. And who killed him then? So, why'd you want to come to Jake's? Well, I like it here. It's the first place I ever held you in my arms. Oh, yeah, you mean when I fell into them. That's right. You feel those kamikazes you needed me. Yeah, you're the one that made me walk the plank. <sighs> I don't remember that. Really? Admit it, Thornhart, you got me drunk and you made me dance on the bar. No, I was an innocent bystander. Mm -hmm. I like what I saw. Very sexy. Yeah. 
about when I dragged you onto the dance floor. You look sexy there, too. No, I mean, what were you thinking? I was thinking how much I was falling in love with you. I remember. I was trying so hard to hide those feelings. Yeah, well, we don't have to hide them anymore, do we? Thank God. Thank God. No more hiding our feelings. Jack's dead. You expect me to believe that? Believe what you want. But Jamal ran him over a cliff at the bike race. He killed him. I don't buy it. It's true. They probably got rid of your brother's body up by the border. You know what? Shut up. Just shut your mouth and tell me what kind of sick game are you playing here? Libby doesn't know what happened to Sam. Well, maybe she saw something. Okay, if I just go talk to her for a minute, no, maybe she... No, no, I think we should leave her alone. Look, we gotta try to figure out what happened. Can't you just give her a minute, please? Look, I wish we had a minute to give her, but we don't. You know that. Libby, um, can we ask you a few more questions about what happened tonight? Yeah, sure. All right, Libby, we, we, we know you had nothing to do with Zach's death. Okay, but um, did you see anybody? Was there like anybody hanging around or anything? No, I uh, I didn't see anyone. I just I heard a noise. There might have been someone there. And, and that's how you got away because Zach was distracted by the noise. Yeah, whoever it was saved me from being hurt. So, do you have any idea who it could have been? No. I mean, maybe it, it's the person who's been following me around. I feel like he's still here. my fabulous bartending skills last time. You're still sticking with Irish whiskey? Yeah, well, there are some things that should remain constant and others that shouldn't. Yeah, you're right. Like, I should be having water instead of a virgin cup of coffee. Yeah, well, it's, it's good for you and the baby. It is, and it keeps me hydrated, you know, because I think my ankles are swelling. Do my ankles look like they're bigger yet? No, uh, you act, be they're beautiful. Uh, now, now that we're back, here, someone want to say we're home. Back home. Isn't it great to be home? Oh, Karen looks fantastic, doesn't she? And I really think that her and Frank are getting closer. Closer? Like, that's what I, I want to talk to you about. Really? Did Joe tell you about he and Gabriella also? Because I think they're getting closer, too. No, I, I didn't. He didn't say anything? We didn't discuss it. You guys, you... Why don't men ever discuss their feelings? We do, between the sports. Between the sports. See, that just cracks me up. I don't understand. Guys never talk about their feelings with each other. It's a mystery. And for the life of me, no. I can't figure out why. Because men, men do. just talk we about know it. we would. We would talk about them if the women that loved us would give us a chance. <laughs> OK. Yeah, I'm sorry. Go ahead. I, um, I didn't mean it like that. No, 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 no. I know, I know. Go ahead. I really, I want to hear what you have to say. Yeah? Okay, um, I don't know. I, I don't know if, I'm, if I can do this justice. I but think I'm gonna be I... sick. <laughs> Come on, let's get him on up to psych. They're waiting for him. Well, between the uh, bump on his head and the sedatives, he should be out for a while. Let's hope I, th so. I think I'm gonna go with him. Are you sure you're okay? I'm fine, Victor. I'll be up right. in a while to check. Okay. Well, that was one way to calm him down. Well, I had to pop him with a pan. He was he was choking you. You know that guy's a federal judge? He's hardly the type of person you think that would just go off the deep end like that. Then, then what happened to him, do you think? Did Victor have a chance to tell you? Victor thinks something attacked him. Attacked him in those woods? Wait a minute, Doc. Do you think Jack 
Could have been a tattoo? I don't know. Some of the symptoms that Livy told you about were similar to the ones that Victor saw in Abe. That's it. You know what? I told you something was very creepy and wrong in those woods. We have to find I out know, what it I is. but I don't have time to do it now. I have to go up to Sark. Okay, okay. W will you do that? And I'm going to go take care of a few nurses' ball things. But then we meet back and we find out what's going on, okay? Okay. Okay. All right. See you then. Thank you. Okay. I'm not playing any games. You're the one who wanted to know the truth. What, that, that Jack was killed by Jamal, his best friend? <sighs> you obviously don't talk to your brother very much, do you? What's that supposed to mean? Jack and Jamal had a big falling out. Over what? Jack was putting the moves on Allison. Jamal saw and went ballistic. You know how nuts he is about that chick. Not nuts enough to kill someone. Okay. You don't believe me? When's the last time anyone saw Jack? The bike race. Jack rode for Jamal because Jamal never showed. Yeah, well, you should check your information. Because Jamal did show up late. And he was ticked because Jack was showing him up in front of Allison. So he went after him. Ask around. Everyone saw Jamal tear out of there. Really? And did you and your friend actually see Jamal take Jack out? It's why Zach's dead. It's why I'm afraid they're going to come after me. Who's they? Jamal and Allison? <sighs> you know she'd cover for that guy. Besides, she was just as pissed at Jack as Jamal was. And what about Libby? I mean, she still hangs around with those two. I mean, was she involved in this? Jack worked her. Big time. A girl doesn't forget that. She doesn't just let it go, trust uh, me. Fine, just let me get this straight. You're saying that Jamal, Allison, and Livy killed your buddy Zach and my brother Jack, too? What? Look, he was just here right before you guys came. when it happens at any time of the day. I, uh, sorry, do you want to go home? No. No, no, I'm, no, really, I'm okay now. Because the good news is, as fast as morning sickness comes, it goes even quicker. Hmm. Choice of pregnancy, I guess. Mm-hmm. Well worth it. So what do you want to tell me? Um, do you feel like dancing? Do you feel well enough for that? Sure. Okay. All right, here we go. This is only the beginning. I know. We have our whole lifetimes to love each other. Whole lifetime, right? That's what I want to talk to you. Hey, 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 Water. You want some water? Yes. I'll get it. Hey, 
Hey, join the party, gorgeous. Join the party. Yeah. Join the party. Oh, no. That's the most ridiculous accusation I ever heard. Now, why would you say something like that? Because I saw it happen. Jamal ran Jack off the road. He I don't know why you're making something like that up, but Jack isn't dead. He's not? Where is he? He left town after he got caught stealing from the bike shop. Well, why couldn't my private investigator find him? Well, gee, I don't know. Maybe he doesn't want to be found. No, if Jack's around, my guy would find him. I just told you, he's not around. He left town. Did you see him leave, or did your Livy and her friends tell you this? Oh, I'm not having that conversation Doctor, with you. Oh, then you didn't see him leave. I'll tell you what, I'll humor you, Chris. I'll talk to Livy and I'll find out where Jack is. Like Satisfied? Sure, like you're gonna interrogate your own daughter. What are you doing? I'm getting the cops involved. Well, don't forget Zach. They killed him to cover Jack's death. Look, I know about this girl. She had a thing for Jack. She has her own agenda, so she's obviously lying. Why don't we let the cops figure out who's lying? Because I don't want these kids' lives ruined by a bogus accusation. Hey, my That's brother what? could be dead. So back off and give me the phone. You treated your brother like dirt. Now, all of a sudden, you're concerned? You know what? I don't have to explain myself to you. Don't worry about your own family. Look, Chris, you know Libby. Yes, I do. Like mother, like daughter. Hi, I want to report a double homicide. so hard keeping it on so I could be yeah. pretending that Jack's alive. Yeah, Zach's turned to dead. You just go from bad to worse in about two seconds flat. I told you I didn't kill Zach. Which means whoever did is still out there. And Olivia, because this guy's been following you. He's telling really you. dangerous. No, he wouldn't hurt me. How do you know? I just do. I'm gonna come with you guys to the police station. I just, I need a little bit of time alone first. This was our spot, you know. Mine and Jack's, and I, uh, I just, I really would like to say goodbye. Yeah, sure. Eve Lambert, do you want to make me the happiest man in the world and be my wife? Yes. <laughs> yes! Not in service area. Come on, buddy, where are you? Andy, Andy, these accusations are ridiculous. Take it easy, Kevin. Dr. Ramsey filled me in on your story. There is no proof that this girl is telling the truth about Jack or her friend. Except that Jack Ramsey's missing and Zach Vernon's dead? Well, that doesn't mean that Jamal killed them and Allison and Libby helped cover it up. Come on. Kevin, these kids are tight. There's no way they're gonna tell anybody. My daughter other. was in love with Jack. 
and Allison and Jamal were his friends. Right. Were. I saw what went down with them. So they had a little falling out over money. It was no big deal. Not enough to make Jamal kill Jack. So there was a money issue as well. As well as what? Jack forcing himself on Allison. Oh, that's absurd. I saw it with my own eyes. Woods walked in, decked him, and then threatened to kill him. Well, that doesn't mean that Jamal did kill them. Oh, come on. You have a motive and an eyewitness who saw Jamal run Jack off a cliff. Arrest them. Excuse me. You call her a reliable witness? No offense. What are you doing? Not taking any chances. Yeah, it's Andy. I want to put an APB out on Jamal Woods, Allison Barrington, and Olivia Locke. Andy, don't do this. They could be armed and dangerous, so proceed with caution. Five, five, six, six. Dr. Judy Cosgrove, five, five, six, six. Oh, Victor, hi. Um, so, how's your friend? Sleeping, friend. Well, I'm sorry I conked him with a bedpan. You know, at least it was empty, but he was strangling Doc. Abe, it's not a violent man. I don't know what's happening to him. Doc told me that, that you told him that Abe was attacked or something? Well, I think I saw a shape disappearing into the mist. A shape? W w could you tell what it was? What, what shape? No. I couldn't tell. But it turned my blood cold. Victor, did Doc tell you what happened to Jack? Something very wrong is happening in those woods. I have the exact same feeling. I mean, something evil. I have so many plans for you, Olivia. For us. No, Caleb. You're staying here with me. Not this time. You can't stop me this time. Olivia's always talking about. Jamal, I'm not so sure that there is a guy. What? Well, Livy's the only person who sees him. And he disappears before anyone can ever show up. So what are you saying? She's dreaming of this guy in her head? Well, she wondered that once herself. known in the beginning and then it would end this way I still would have chosen to be with you Jack I just hope you know how much I loved you but I I will always carry you in my heart I just I I won't come back here I uh, I don't belong here without you. Goodbye, Chad. any line to get to you and say yes again yeah. ask me again will you marry me mm, no no question no doubt yes i will mm. Mm. i thought long and hard to find the right place to propose to you mm-hmm and you know something that had meaning to both of us jakes see the jakes or the cabin or harris's lair oh please don't remind me about that you know what thornhart you could have picked the middle of a garbage dump to propose to me, and it would have been perfect. Hmm. It's good to know. Well, next wife. Next wife. <laughs> um, there is just one more thing to make this engagement official. Ooh. Sit you down. OK. Are you out of your mind? 
I know my job, Doctor. And I know these kids, Andy. Armed and dangerous? Come on. How could you put out an APB like that on my daughter, let alone Amanda Barrington's granddaughter, and make these girls sound like hardened criminals? What are you thinking? It's thinking like a cop. You stay out of this. He's thinking about Jamal Woods, who happens to have a record. You know something, Ramsey? If my daughter's hurt even a little bit, all right, I'm all right, back you. off. Hey, I said back off. Come on. Now look, here's what we know: that Zach Vernon was found in the park with his head on backwards. Good bet it was a homicide. And Jack Ramsey's missing. And according to her, he's dead too, which makes it a possible double homicide. And now no one knows where to find Woods, Alice, and Barrington, or your daughter Livy. So you tell me, Kevin, what would you do with Zach Vernon dead and Jack Ramsey dead? Jack is not dead. He can't be. Livy. This, this can't be. Uh, oh, God, I, I'm dreaming. Uh, no, 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 you're not dreaming. Livy, I'm, I'm just. No, 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 stay back. It's me. It's Jack. It's me. God, I'm losing my mind. Why, why are you looking at me like you've never seen? You can't be here. This, this can't be real. Oh, no. Don't say that. Jack. Oh. God. What is wrong with me? Oh, God, something's really, really wrong with me. I feel really sick. You please, please, you gotta help me. Sorry, brother, but there is no way you're locking me down here again. And you ain't never gonna reform me. I am begging you, Caleb. You desperately need help. I'm begging you, Caleb. What I need is Olivia. My Olivia. She's dead, Caleb. Oh. I found another one. Almost identical. Same name. Same look. She's perfect. You can't do this, Caleb. I won't live the rest of my life alone! Celibate. Pathetic. Like me. Oh, you tried. You tried to steal the woman I loved once before. But nothing and no one will stop me from having her this time. It's a cloud ring, Irish, traditional. <sighs> Two hands. Holding a crowned heart. Yeah. The hands are for faith. And the heart is for love. Yeah. Now, you wear it on your right hand with the heart pointed out. It means you're unattached. And pointed in? It means your heart's taken. So it's a symbol of friendship and love. Hmm. Both. And we're blessed to have both in our lives. In equal parts. Eve, will you wear this ring? Show to all the world that your heart's taken. I would be honored. This is the craziest thing I've ever heard. Jack, Jack is not dead. I, I would feel it. You'd what? The universe what? sends her signals, detective. Just the rest of us don't have a decoder ring. Shut up. Trust me, Chris, you really don't want to know what the universe says about you. Yeah, what about me? Officer, you really want to know? I'll tell you what it's saying. It's saying if you think you should send out a goon of a SWAT team to go after three innocent children and hurt them in any way, you better rethink that because you got to check out Miss Bellybutton's fancy story there. 
You know, don't take my word for it. Why don't you ask your daughter where she ditched her boyfriend's body? All right. All right, look. You come with me. Now? Yeah, right now. Let's move. Nurse Hartman, 4737. Nurse Donna Hartman, 4737. I can't believe this. I can't either. So, Doc, we, we can't just stand here. We have to do something. Yeah, I sneak out and find Livy before Andy does. Okay, that's a great idea. You do that, and, and I'll cover here for you, and then you call me as soon as you have anything. I'll find her. Okay, I promise. Yeah. All right. Andy, I have to go check on a patient, but we're not finished here yet. Dr. Adams to cardiology. Dr. Monique Adams. If you and Kevin know where Living and her pals are, you're not telling. Oh, and I'm gonna get that yeah, 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 yeah. Don't give me that brotherly love stuff. You, Jack, told me honestly that you two really hate each other a lot. Well, maybe we didn't get along. But if he was murdered, I'm not just going to shrug that off and go to the movies. Why? You don't really like the double feature they have today? Believe it or not, and I don't really care if you do, I care what happened to my brother. Hmm. Let me see. You're right. I don't care if you care that I care, and I absolutely do not believe you. You attacked this kid in the woods for what? For what, Caleb? To, to steal his girlfriend? Not that I needed an excuse. You almost killed him! And I would have, if you hadn't stopped me. That's it. That's your last time. That... This Ramsey boy, that's your last victim. Oh, I doubt that. No more. I'll go to the police. I'll do whatever it takes. If I have to, I... If I have to, I'll kill you. But suicide is a sin, Father. Kill me, you're killing Potty yourself, Michael. We're twins. Connected. Hell, that's the only reason why you're still walking around. Although, you know, I must confess, I do think about it every time I look into your pious face. <laughs> I've been alone too long. And I've waited for the right soul, and I found her. And I'm going to love her exactly the way I loved Olivia. I loved her, too. Don't you understand? But I didn't destroy her. You destroy everything you touch. Kate. That's your opinion! <laughs> and to be honest with you, brother, I couldn't care about it less. This time, I will have what I want. Oh, please. Please, please, please be real, Chuck. Please. I am. Oh. God. I miss you. I can't believe you're here. Oh, oh. I, I do not know what is going on with me. I don't know why I feel this way. Look, um, what do you remember, Jack? What's the last thing? Do you uh, do you remember Zach when 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 he ran you off the cliff? Yes, yes, yes. I I, I remember. Zach, I remember all of that. And I remember, I remember you. I remember you, you holding me. Okay, okay, and after that? I, w I was walking. I, I remember I was walking for, for a long, long period of time, and suddenly I was drawn here. Suddenly I was drawn here because I didn't know where else to go. Because you knew I'd be here. But what happened after that? After the accident, after I saw you. That's the part I don't remember, Libby. Between now and then, you gotta tell me. Libby! Libby, we tried to give you enough time to say goodbye. Libby. Hey, hey no. guys. No, no, this is not happening. Because you... You, you are. Well, what, what, what's wrong with you? Oh. Hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. Now, just get back, get back, get back. Stay over there, man. Stay the hell away from us. Jamal, what's going on, man? It's me. No, no, it can't be you. We buried you, man. You're dead. Dead. This is the most beautiful ring I have ever seen. Anything to please the lady. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Okay, in that case, what are you making me for dinner? How about I whip you up an omelet? 
No, I have a better idea. Instant gratification. Mm. Oh, nice dinner. Yeah. You can have whipped cream with that. Oh, that's a good idea. Do we have whipped cream? How much do you want? Oh, no, uh, I'll get it. Hey. No, <laughs> I'll get it myself. You're going to deprive the future wife, the, the future the all woman. All right, all right, all right. You're going to have your right. baby and all that. <laughs> Eat as much as you like. Thank you. Whipped cream, please. You, you know what? You better be careful about this eat as much as you like thing, because pretty soon I'm going to be as big as a house. Uh -huh. Well, I'll say it again. Mm. I love the fact that you're going to get bigger and bigger with our baby. Mm. Really? Mm -hmm. Are you still going to love me when my face is all puffy and my ankles are as big as cantaloupes? Oh, God. You trying to turn me on? Well, I still can. <laughs> Come here. If you gain 200 pounds, lose all your teeth, all your hair, I'll still love you. Oh, Doc, you're right. The river. Of course Livy would go there. She really loves that place. Yeah. What? I can't hear you. Ten minutes, I'll meet you there. Yeah. Good work. Ta. Nurse Goddard, 212 East. Nurse Linda Goddard, 212 East. Well, well, Lucy. Looks like your old pal, the universe, just paid me a visit. Are you sure she's yes. all right, man? Yeah, she'll be fine. Well, that makes one of us. Guys, come on. Could you please tell me what the hell's going on here? What do you mean, buried me? No, what is going on? Hey. Hey, you okay? You famous, sweetie. What did I think? What is that? No, 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 this is impossible. No, it's a miracle, Alex. Well, somebody please? You, you were dead, bro. What do you mean, dead, Jamal? Zach forced you off the road, OK? You, he ran you right over the cliff. And he was going to pin the whole thing on Jamal, so we, uh... So, so you what? So we buried you. I dug the grave myself. But, but we never would have done it if you were alive. I mean, we, we checked many, many times. There was no pulse, no nothing, no breathing, well, anything. Guys, 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 I'm OK. I, I, don't, I don't feel exactly well, but... Uh, this can happen. I've heard of this. You, you think that someone's dead, but really their their heartbeat and their pulse just get slower and slower, and they just get really shy. Uh, we sat next to his grave all night long. Why don't you try to explain that? Jamal, it's possible he's yeah. here. Yeah, maybe there was an air pocket or something. All right? Ja no, there's, there's, I'm not dead, not even a scratch on you. Uh, you fell off a cliff, Jack. I mean, there was blood everywhere. Maybe, maybe it just looked bad. Maybe you're a fast healer. A what? Look, I don't care. It doesn't matter. He's here, and he's fine, and I am not asking how. I've got you back. Jack and I will never, ever let you go. Oh, my God. We were so scared. There's nobody happier than me just to see you around here walking and talking, man, but I saw what I saw with my own two eyes, Jack. There's no way we were wrong. Hey, look, Jamal. Listen to me. Jack is here, OK? That is the point. That is the only point, OK? And the rest of the mm. stuff, we can just forget and move on. Right? Jamal, we can get past this, right? But I, 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 want, I want to believe it's so bad, but it's just, Jamal. you know, it's Jamal. It's just me. It's just me. All right, to hell with it. I can't turn my back on good news, right? You're the miracle man, baby. Yeah. Everything else is behind us, right? OK. All right. Well, look, this story stays between us. No one else can know. About what? Just crying. I'm marrying the man that I love more than anything in the whole world, and we're having a baby together. I, I, okay, I don't, I don't understand. I don't either. I'm pregnant. Oh, right now, of course. Yes. No. 
two people who love each other with the luckiest people in the world. I understand. They're with the tissues. This is horrible. No, come on. I'm serious. I really am. We are so blessed. Yeah, we are. We deserve it. We're going to hold on to it. If there's one thing I learned over the last months, it's we never know what's going to come next. We're not going to put anything off. Right. So, marry me as soon as you can. Okay. How about as soon as Father Michael can do the ceremony? How soon is that? Really? You mean it, Father Michael? Yeah. Why not? I mean, if, if he's willing, sure. Right, right. And, and, and maybe he's, you know, over that stuff, that trouble with his brother, Caleb. He... Right, right. <laughs> I'll call him. Okay. You just worry about the ceremony and baby names. Oh, okay. I'm in charge of everything? You're in charge of everything. I trust you. I love you. Yeah? Do you want to show me how much? <laughs> hmm. Any way in particular? Oh, yeah. Mm. Caleb, we can go round and round on this all night. Sounds good to me. I'm a night person, remember? I won't let you leave. I won't let you hurt this young woman. Olivia, for your own safety and protection, I need you to stay here. What? What do you want me to do? You want me... You want me to beg? Fine, I will beg you. Yeah, that might keep me. Beg for me, Michael. Come on. Let me hear you. Beg me. Come on, what's the matter? Pray for my sins, brother. Pray! Caleb. Pray! What? Caleb! 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 Listen to me, you have to let me out of here! Sorry about that, brother. But I'm already late. And you know how I hate to keep a lady waiting. You sleep tight. You hear? Caleb! Uh, Dad? What are you doing here? I was looking for you. Now, what is it exactly that no one can know about? Nothing, nothing at all. You want to try that again? Look, Dad, none of this is really any of your business. I don't ask you for every little detail. All right, all right, ease up, all right? We need to make this into a federal case. Look, we, we were wrong about Jack stealing from the shop and taking off. Okay, we just, we just want to forget about the whole thing. Well, you can forget about forgetting once the police catch up to you. Police? Huh? There's an APB out for the three of you right now. What for? Because they think Jamal murdered Jack and that you and Allison helped cover it up. Well, that's crazy. I mean, he's standing right here. You can see for yourself. All right, everybody freeze. Hands in the air. All right, all right. Whoa, Let me whoa, get over whoa, 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 Just take whoa, it, whoa. officer. Take it easy. I'm Dr. Armed Kevin. Armed dangerous. That's what the APB all right, said. All right, just calm down. No one's armed here. He's up. You're in charge, all right? It's okay, it's okay. It's okay. Put your hands up. All right. Stay, you are. Stay right still. Lucy? What the hell is going on? Lucy? Don't move! Oh, put the gun down! Look, all I'm trying to say is this is stop! You won't even know I'm gone. I am going to miss you every minute. Oh, I want me to you. But I have to go. Lucy says Serena's been so down lately. So, take her to the mall or catch a movie. Uh, no, I want her to feel important. Serena and I are going to have a New York adventure she could brag to all her friends about. Yeah. You just come back to me safe and sound, all right? Well, I'm a little shaky, but you didn't even wince. I'm pretty numb right now. This test will come back negative, too. Try not to worry. Whether I'm HIV positive or not... You're gonna be all right. What I've been through this past year has really made me think. How precious life is? Well, that, for sure, but probably even more importantly, how lucky I've been. Great family, friends, an older brother who sacrificed his own education so, so I can go to medical school. A lady in my life I'm just crazy about. And for some strange reason, she hasn't kicked me out the door yet. Well, 
Well, maybe that's because she's crazy about you, too. And so I've been thinking I'd like to give something back. Like what? Well, you remember that little town in the Appalachians that Eve was talking about? Yeah, Bounce Corners. Well, when she couldn't go, they were left with one part-time nurse and no doctor. And you're thinking about taking that job and leaving everything and everyone behind? Yes. Except you. I'm hoping you'll come with me. God. What are you crazy, you stupid Jack, rookie? Are, are you okay? You are you? Jack, Jack blocked the shot, babe. What the hell did you think you were doing? All right, come on. Let's You're gonna kill us. Cool down. Kids. Woods had a gun. I'm clean. I don't he even carry a piece. I swear, I thought he was carrying a oh, gun. Yeah. Well, nobody got hurt. Can we all keep that in mind? Hey, Jack, are you sure? I would have known if you would have hit me. I'm all right. He missed us both. Hey, I got a great idea. Why don't I go along and be your driver? Uh, Serena and I reserve seats on the train. But when you get to Manhattan? The subway. Serena loves the subway. Yeah, well, yeah, I just thought. I know, I know, but I just promised her this would be a girls only outing. You know, just the two of us on the town. Well, it uh, might be more fun with a chaperone. Oh. Well, you know, you're right. I'm gonna call right now and make reservations for you at the manicurist. That's our first stop. And then it's a makeover at Saks and, oh yeah, Tiffany's. Mm, Tiffany's on the residence side. Uh, well, we were gonna try and sneak in cream cheese and bagels and try and have breakfast there like Holly go lightly. And then it is off to NoHo, Soho, lingerie stores, juice bars, fitting rooms. Yeah, uh, enough, enough. I got it. Yeah, All right. right. For us, heaven, for you, a torn hell. What happened to seeing the Empire State Building or the Statue of Liberty? He's kidding, right? Yes, yes, he is. Phew! You want to come in and vote on my outfits? Sure, I'll be right there. Okay. <laughs> she is so excited she's about to burst. Yeah, well, don't let her. I want both of you back here in one piece. Well, you're going to get me back here in exactly the same condition I'm in now. Cross my heart. No body piercing, no body tattoos. <laughs> Unless it's a very tiny, tasteful heart with your name in it. Yeah. Yeah. Now, how am I going to get along without you? Well, let's see. I could uh, give you something tonight that you could spend all day tomorrow thinking about. Karen! <sighs> After I get my traveling companion stowed away. <laughs> I'm sorry, asking you to leave town like that. Uh, I shouldn't have put it all out there like that to you. No, no, it's it's okay. It's just, uh... Well, I thought you were settled here in Port Charles till the end of time. I guess that was the plan until... Until you were faced with your own mortality. Look, I feel so strongly about wanting to make a real difference, Gabby. To take my passion for medicine and channel it into something I can really be proud of. You're a good man, Joe Scanlon. But I'm also selfish. Selfish enough to want you by my side. So, you're saying you and me in a dinky little town with one stop sign. Might not even be electricity or running water. A cross between Gideon's Crossing and a coal miner's daughter. Hey, you can pursue a nursing by day and a career in country music at night. No. <laughs> no, after I perform at the nurse's ball tomorrow night, that is my swan song. <laughs> Seriously, does this move appeal to you at all? Yeah. It does. You'd be giving up a lot. But look what I'd be getting. Well, I just want to wait until we get my test results. And then I can call the clinic and bounce corners. Call him now, Joe. Just go for it, no matter what happens. I mean, we never know what life has in store for us. There was an APB out on that. 
I'm gonna take him in for questions. Sure, after some target practice. I told you I thought Woods was reaching for his gun. Please. Obviously, he does not have a gun. It, and at that range, you could have taken us both out. Yeah, just the thought of it, I'm still shaking. Well, I'm filing a complaint. Look, I'm glad you two are okay. Oh, Andy, I bet you are. A wrongful death suit would have ruined your little summer, huh? But I still have questions for you. This biker chick friend of yours, Sam Norse, said you were dead. You think maybe she's wrong? Well, she wasn't wrong about this. Zach Vernon being murdered. Says you killed him. Oh, uh, what? Now, hold on just a minute. Don't say anything. I'll take a good lawyer. No, you know, it's okay. It's okay. You cops come in here with your guns blazing, convinced I killed Jack, who's obviously still breathing. And now you're saying I murdered somebody else. All on the word of a pretty unreliable witness. Yeah, and Sam, she's flipping nuts. Maybe you should go back and question her again. I think that's a great idea, because this interview officer is over. Well, if there's nothing else, we all know where to find each other, right? Yeah, just in case Jack wants to sue the police department for reckless endangerment. Uh -huh. Stick close to poor Charles. Let's go. Tom. Libby, are you all right? Yeah, I'm OK. What about everybody else? Right. Everyone okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah we're, we're all right. okay. Yeah, we're okay. Okay, they're gone. So now finally you can spill the beans. What happened? What really happened? How did Jack manage to disappear off the face of the earth and then somehow reappear again? All right, great. Thank you. Goodbye. Our house has electricity and running water. A house? <laughs> We have a house? Well, they were getting a place ready for Eve. Right near the clinic. With a wraparound porch, pre-Civil War. And when Mrs. Hall heard that the finest nurse in the nation was part of the package, well, she <laughs> went to go paint the place herself. So it's all set? Well, we're at about 90%. She still has to run it by the clinic board. And, of, of course, I didn't tell her about the other news we're waiting, huh? The HIV test is none of their business. It will be if the results come back positive, Gibby. Hey, can we just take one step at a time, please? It could be positive. And if it is, we will deal with it together. You want to take me home? <laughs> Always. Dr. Jacobs to psychiatrics. Come on. Okay, we're waiting. I really want to hear what happened with Jack's mysterious disappearance. I, I don't know. What Look, you I, I, to say. I told you already that Jack just left town for a while. Oh, you know, I never bought that lame embezzling story. I never thought you'd do that. Can we talk for a minute? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. <clears throat> Look, it's it's kind of been a really crazy night. All you need to know is that Jack's back and he's okay. Livy, you were so upset when you thought, sorry, you stole from the bike shop. What really happened? We'll work through that by ourselves. What the heck is that supposed to mean? It means butt out. Yeah. Oh, really? Well, yeah. you know what? I have to tell you, we were really, really worried about you, so it's a little hard not to have an explanation. I thought you were going to have a nervous breakdown. Look, okay, I've never hurt Livy on purpose. Lucy, I just think when you get involved, things tend to get a little bit more complicated. Oh, well, thank you very much. See, I'm right about that thing that Shakespeare said, you know, that when children are around, you sort of have them turn into sharp serpent's teeth. Remember? Yeah, I remember. You do know how worried we were, don't you? Yes, I do, but you can stop worrying now, because Jack's back and everything's gonna be okay. Jack jumped right in front of me. I know. And the cop was so close when he fired. No, Allie, I swear, I thought that bullet hit Jack. It's a miracle, Jamal. Or something. What do you mean, or something? I mean, that cop pointed his gun straight at me, and Jack jumped between the piece and me, and he doesn't get hit. Well, just be grateful that he's a lousy shot. I don't know. Somehow, Jack cheated death. Again. We buried him out mm. there in the middle of no nowhere. We buried him alive, Jamal. No, 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 no. He was dead. I was sure of it. He was dead. Look at him. How could he have been? He was not breathing. There wasn't a pulse. We just couldn't tell that he was. But maybe, maybe he was in a coma or something. I made a coffin for him. Oh, my God. Imagine if he couldn't have dug himself out. I nailed it shut. OK, we buried him. We covered with dirt and everything. Oh, look at his hands. No cuts, no bruises. 
guy's walking around like he just got off of work or something. I mean, how does he get off with zero, zero injuries? Well, look, maybe he's just a fast healer or something. Or maybe you didn't nail the coffin as tight as you thought you did. I, I gotta find out. How? Well, you know, as soon as it's light, I'm gonna pay his grave a little visit. No. Mm -hmm. Hey, you guys uh, ready, ready to pack it in? Yeah. Yeah, we're yeah, yeah. yeah. a little yes. freaky, I'm you know? tired. <clears throat> um, my head's, like, splitting open. I really yeah. want to go. Yeah, we all should get a little rest. Yeah, I'm really uh, tried. Uh, Dad, I'll call you tomorrow. Yeah, please do that. Okay. I'll make sure she's okay. See you later. Uh, Bye. 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 What are you doing? You're just gonna let them leave well, like that? Well, there's nothing else we can do tonight, Lucy. Tonight? Okay, so in the morning we follow up on this. I didn't say that. Oh, come on, those kids are hiding something. I agree something. with you. I agree with you, but... This time, I just have to take Livy at her word. Oh, no. Lucy, she needs us to trust that if she says it'll be okay, that it will be. Right? Never you mind that it won't well, be. Well, you don't know that, do you? Yeah, I do, because I can hear a little voice. You mean the little voice that says, Lucy, it's late, let's go home and get some sleep? No, the little voice that's saying there is something very weird going on in those very weird woods. I don't hear that voice. Oh. So why don't we listen to my voice, since it's nearly gone, and just go... Doc, who? sleep last night. Who can sleep? I'm so wide awake, I don't even know why I'm bothering with the coffee. Stage fright? No. Actually, visions of you and me starting our new life in Balance Corners kept me from thinking about performing at the nurse's ball. What are you, uh, seeing again? <laughs> You're just not gonna let me put that out of my head, are you? <laughs> well, it was visions of you singing at the ball that kept me from worrying about my HIV results. Well, wait till you hear me sing. <laughs> Come on, you're gonna be great. Well, anyway, after this whole performing ordeal is over, can we go to Bounce Corners and check it out in person? We'll fly down on the first flight we can book. I can see us now, healing the sick, churning butter, weaving baskets, <laughs> <laughs> rocking on our wraparound porch. Let's get my <laughs> test results, all right, before you go opening our folk art roadside stand. Don't you want to rock on the porch with me? Forever. I love you, Gabby. And prove it by helping me rehearse for my routine. Just the thought of getting up in front of that audience makes me ill. Well, when you're up there, just sing to me. And to heck with what anyone else thinks. Why did I let Lucy talk me into this? Because you're sweet, mm. generous, and fantastic. Mm. It's for a good cause. Mm. Should I continue? Well, if you've got nothing better to do, yeah. <laughs> There's nothing better than this. Those don't look like good walking shoes. We're not walking. We're riding the subway. Do me a favor. Okay, take cabs. I'll worry less. Cool. Thanks. Yeah, you take care of your big sis, all right? You get her back here safe and sound, and any doll you want is yours. Dolls? Mm, sorry. That's okay. But Glitters makes this totally awesome, fully packed makeup kit. <sighs> Deal? Makeup? <sighs> mm. Deal. Now... Why don't you go wait in the car? You're the boss. <laughs> you are, huh? Kids, <laughs> you got your cell phone. Yes. Tickets, uh, guidebook, uh, yes, ATM yes, card. Yes, 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 Frank. If this weren't girls only, you would definitely be invited. Especially since you and Serena seem to have bonded. Well, I am irresistible. Oh, really? <laughs> Prove it. Thank you. 
A shopping call of the preteen. <laughs> uh. That bad, huh? Well, Doc, you know what it is? Everything seems topsy-turvy, all turned around. And, and what makes it worse, these are the strangest things of all. Did you close your eyes at all last night? No, no. No, come, come to think of it, I couldn't stop picturing us back in those creepy, awful woods. This whole thing with Jack has you all bent out of shape. Oh, and I suppose you're fine with it? Well, I'm glad he's back, if only for Livy's sake. You're glad he's back? Well, I'm glad he's back, but, but never mind where he's been or what he's been up to. Well, I'd like some answers, too, but unlike you, I'm willing to wait until Livy's ready to supply them. Oh. Well, now that I'm awake, I guess I should call the hospital and check up on Victor's friend. You know, I heard he needed stitches after you got through with him. Oh, no, I didn't know bedpans had sharp edges. Doc, that's not the point. The point is that Abe being attacked is somehow part of this whole puzzle. Hmm. If this bullet is actually the one that was fired from that cop's gun, it most definitely hit something. Done. It's me, obviously, but stop your yammering. I didn't even get to say hello. No, absolutely not. We are not changing the order of the numbers. For goodness sake, the programs have all been printed. It's too late. That would cost a charity. No, I said, Don, listen to me carefully and embed this in your forehead. This nurse's ball is going to go smoothly this year. Do you hear me? Not one hitch. Write it in blood. Jack, I'm telling you, dude, you were gone, man. Like, no sign of life whatsoever. I mean, and the way I nailed that casket and put you in the ground, there is no way that you got out. You... You mean to tell me that's where I was? Except when we left you, man. <laughs> that was sealed, man. We're all kind of like brush and leaves, man. This looks like you exploded out of the ground or something, man. 